This is Jordan Stauber with In World Captured. Check out our other channel, World Captured, for awesome videos. And let's continue on with our series on After Effects CS6 and all things filmmaking. Now, if you didn't see the first video of this series, check it out here. And let's just continue with this tutorial now. Now, in this tutorial, we'll be talking about keyframes and different layering options and text effects and animating stuff. So let's just get on with it. Let's import some footage, double clicking that project panel. Let's just import this stuff. This is just stuff from our a video we made. Um, now let's just bring some of this into the timeline really quickly. Um, let's just arrange this. And we're actually, I'm actually not going to use this. This is a little project I just made before, so we're just going to use this. And this has all this stuff. Okay, so now that, let's say you just layered your footage wherever you want and stuff like that. And added, added some footage and layered it and cut it to where you want so you have a little let's see a little uh, we could just preview it Yeah, so now that it rendered, now let's just watch the preview. This is what it looks like, and we'll just make this really quickly. So as you can see, we just played this. So now it's in real time, whatever. Um, we just have different layering options over here, and we have the three angles, and then we have the text on the top over here. And then we uh, add a little adjustment layer for some color correction. Um, let's stop that. So we're just going to go through. Well, in the last tutorial, I showed you how to cut things into the right places and put layer for different angles and stuff. So if you didn't see that, watch that here. Um, now we're going to learn how to put the text in and then end it so it goes out. And then right after that, we'll just do some adjustment layers. Um, so if you didn't have the text, let's just get rid of that. And let's just get rid of the adjustment layer. So now we have this. This is what we did in the last video. Um, now let's start by making a new text layer by going up to the text tool. And we just want it like right there so we're just going to drag that and we're going to write get mugged oh but it's not there but it's okay we could just make this a little bigger let's click away and we could go back to the arrow tool by clicking v that's a shortcut and then we'll just drag it into wherever we want i'll say that's it's a good spot oh, actually right there is fine and then now we want it to start like right here so we're going to get opening bracket and then we want it to end like right there so we'll just option end bracket and we'll just cut it to this spot so now we have that it'll get mugged in and goes out and switches angles and everything but now this looks nice but let's add some color correction to make it look like very nice so simple we're just going to go up to new layer new adjustment layer now adjustment layers are they just affect everything that's under them so and then this is a shortcut for it, so I would I suggest learning the shortcuts. It'll make you go much faster, but we're just going to make a new one of those. Now, nothing happened yet, but we're going to add an effect over here by going here, and we're going to go to color correction, and we're going to get some curves. Just double-click that. We're just going to bring the overall. This is a quick little color correction tutorial. Um, I'm going to be making a more advanced color correction 
video in the upcoming in upcoming tutorials. But this is just a quick one, little tip that I do. Just bring this, actually bring this down. Bring that up a little, just add some contrast. Then we're gonna go to the red channel. Just do the same thing, bring that down a little, bring this up. And then we're just gonna go to the green channel, bring that down. Not too much, just like a little bit. Bring that up a little bit. That's looking nice already, but this is what makes it really cool. Now you bring the, this is the opposite. You go up a little and down a little here. Ooh, now we're looking good. And then lastly, we're just gonna get some hue and saturation in here, right here. Just double click that. We're just gonna bring the color down a little bit. And then one more thing, we're gonna go to brightness and contrast. And we're just going to bring the overall brightness down a little bit. That should be good. And we're just going to bring this up a little bit. Now, we have a little color correction. Just quick color correction to make it look much better. Now, we're just going to preview to see how it looked. Oh, look at that. Look how much better that looks. All the contrast in here. The black got darker and the white stayed white. Just makes it look much better. So now, we have all of this. And it just looks really good. And here's the comp right here. And we're going to start. And then we could just make this a pre-comp. And so we could add it into other things. But now we're just going to work with quickly with keyframes. Now keyframes are whenever you see anything like this, a little time, time watch thing, that means you can change over time. So you can animate it. So we're just going to make a new layer. A solid. We're going to make the solid black. Yes. And then we're going to make comp size. Okay. It's going to go on top of everything. And we want that solid to fade out like right here. So we're going to go into the layer options, transform. And then we have a pass over here. We're going to click that. But we want it to be zero. And we're going to go back to the beginning. <coughs> and make that 100. So now it just fades in a little bit and then at the end we want it to fade in again so we're going to make another keyframe right here and then we're going to have a fade to 100 right there we're just going to make that 100 so that's it now you have your little video right here and just play around with the color correction and adjustment layers and you get the idea with the keyframes next video we're going to work a lot more with keyframes but Keyframes basically just make things change over time, makes things animate, and that's basically like very, very, very useful in After Effects. Everything you do, you will use keyframes. And so basically we just went through some text, some color correction, some adjustment layers, and some keyframes. Thank you for watching. Jordan Stauber with World Captured. Subscribe, check out our channel, watch all our videos. They're awesome. And Get ready for the next tutorial because we're going to be working with other stuff. Thank you for watching.